Hey you all, thank you for tuning in to my channel called That Nurse Nicole. Here we talk about nursing, beauty, lifestyle, feminine health, and just about anything we're talking. Now before you go, if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do so. Hit the like button, share, comment, and let's get right into the video. Nutrients I'm talking telling you about that you need this mineral guys it's called magnesium and magnesium is the fourth abundant element on the earth on the planet yes it comes after iron oxygen and silicon magnesium is a natural form of beta beta blocker what Beta blocker does when you go to the doctor and you complain about your heart or your blood pressure is too high, they tend to prescribe medication that has beta blocker in it. And beta blockers slow your heart rate. It is something that slower the hormone, the chemical hormone in the body called epinephrine. It is the same as the adrenaline. You know when you have that urge, that adrenaline, you want to do stuff, it makes you hyper, it makes you, you know what I mean. So this is how beta blocker slows the heart rate. It slows down that chemical heart rate in the body and tends to make your muscles relax so your heart beat less faster and go much slower. Now, you, if you're like me, and when you read the side effects of these medication that's prescribed by the doctor, and then you get a scare, oh, you do things, oh no, I can't take this. Then you will start looking into more mild and more natural stuff that's gonna be less aggressive on the body. So let me tell you about my story time. So I was having surgery, so it was pre-op, they did a PKG, and maybe I'm anxious, Maybe it's an underlying situation where I'm not even aware that I was anxious and nervous about the surgery. But I'm telling you, I felt totally okay. I wasn't worried about the surgery. I couldn't wait to have the surgery. But for some reason, my heart rate was almost 120. So that caused me not to do the surgery right away. I put it off because I'm like, okay, I don't want to go into surgery my, with such a high heart rate. And then you know you're going to be in pain after surgery. And it, it's going to go way up. Because the least little thing, I'm I, my heart rate... The least local movement it's up so I'm like let me put this off and go see what's wrong with my heart so I went and I see uh, a cardiologist they do the whole work the test everything came back normal your heart is okay everything is fine they couldn't find the issue what's wrong with me so we said okay we boil it down to me being nervous so I tend to try to relax myself more but on top of doing that naturally I was doing my research and I came across magnesium you know what, my before I even come across magnesium, backtrack. When my doctor get the report from the, the technician that my heart rate was high, he was like, okay, I don't worry, I have something to lower that. I'm going to give you metaparol. Metaparol who? Mind you, I'm very young. I don't take a bunch of medication. So when I heard metaparol, that's a prescribed beta blocker. And if any one of you know, when you're on a beta blocker medication, you can just take yourself off it like that. You will get yourself into serious problem. One of the serious side effects of metoparol, if you withdraw, sudden withdrawal, you might risk yourself getting an heart attack. We're all human and we tend to forget things. I don't want to be in a situation where one day, oh, I forgot to take my medication and then I start panicking out, I start having an artifact because of my mistake. Come on, that is too serious. I'm like, no, I'm not taking this. I don't want it. And if you're like me, I'm not scared to tell my doctors or whoever if they're trying to force something, I'm, I'm not taking it. I have that debate with my surgeon. surgeon. I have the debate with the doctor. I have it with my second opinion. They all try to convince me to take something and I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. 
Don't worry, by the time of surgery, when I reschedule for the next appointment, my heart rate will be fine. Don't worry about me. So I went home, do my research, and there I go, I came across magnesium. Yes, the brand that I am taking, I don't know if you guys can see, my lighting is all, the lighting is to glory. But this is magnesium malate, guys. There are over like 10 different forms of magnesium. You have magnesium oxide, you have magnesium citrate, you have magnesium glycinate. There is so many. I'm not here to list all of them. I'm just telling you there's a there's different form. The one that they said tend to upset your stomach and let you vomit is the citrate because of the acidic flavor. But other forms that's really gentle to the small intestine and to your digestive tract is magnesium malate the glucerinate those magnesium are okay the reason why i decide to take the magnesium malate i don't know if you can see it is because magnesium malate tends to help people who have pain and i have this underlying condition where it gives me pain so instead of just taking something to relax my heart muscle and if it has two in one effect where it can also rid me of pain I decided to go with the magnesium malay but you can choose research the different forms and what best suits you so for people with fibromyalgia arthritis joint pain the magnesium malate is good for you overall the great benefit of magnesium is that it lower your heart rate it lower your blood pressure your heart rate and your blood pressure work hand in hand so once your blood pressure is lower, your heart rate will be lower. And please guys, as I said, if you don't have high blood pressure and you don't have high heart rate, there's no need to take this supplement, okay? This is for people who are tachycardia, who have high heart rate, who have high blood pressure. This, trust me, it works. It lower your blood pressure and it stabilizes. It. It's not gonna lower it, no. You have to keep monitoring your blood pressure while you're taking this medication. And how I take it, for females, it tends, the ones that you buy in the, the over-the-counter, like the bounties and those, they don't give you a good dosage. Like for females, it's just standard. And as I've read, for women, we only need like between 200 to 300 milligram a day. Men can take up to like 420 milligram. This is a hundred milligram and I only take one at night and let me tell you if you can sleep at night either and you're ought to fall asleep once you take magnesium malate you will be resting you will be sleeping therefore you will be relaxed and your heart rate will tend to go down and your blood pressure will go down so you don't have to sweetheart go on those prescribed medication that your doctor will prescribe this is an alternative if you want something more gentle because guess what it takes a while for you to wind yourself off those medication it's not okay i don't feel like taking it today i'm not going to take it if you start out taking two for example metaparol medication a day and then you decide that oh you tell your doctor you don't want to take it no more they're not going to just say okay you don't have to take it no more guess what you're going to have to do they're going to say okay i'm going to have to wind you down they have to lower the doses if it was 200 milligram they're going to wind you down to 100 milligram and then next week they're going to say okay 100 you're on 100 milligram let's take one pill a day and then next it takes a while for them to wind you down guess what with my magnesium i can forget about it skip a day or a night and don't have a side effect like I don't take this every single night there are nights and days when I forget I don't take this in the daytime because I have to drive to work and I have to be up because this is something that would make you sleep but whenever I take this I'm okay and whenever I don't take it I am okay so I'm saying to you guys I'm not telling you if you have a heart condition and your doctor said you have to take this and this certain medication but if it's just a general problem where you find that your blood pressure is high and everybody knows blood pressure can be monitored by the way you eat you lower your salt intake you watch your diet you you know you rest and you just monitor to see how high or low your pressure is for a particular day because we know it fluctuate fluctuate then 
why go on a prescribed medication that the doctor is going to have you live on for months, it's possible years. Try something more mild. I tried it not, not, not even in three weeks, sweetheart. Three weeks. My pulse went down. I'm not over in no hundred and something. I went down. When I went to the ER, I was under a hundred. When I went to the ER, I was like 98. That was still a little high because I always want to be in the 80s or the 70s. But, sweetheart, it's not like 130 or 140. It's a, it's 98. It went down. And I was walking and I was exhausted. It went to 98. And gradually, over time, it keep going down. It keep going down. My blood pressure that was normally on the eye side, like 138 over 98. Oh, my God. When I go to the doctor these days, they say, are you worrying about anything in life? You have perfect blood pressure. My blood pressure is like 117 over 73, 117 over 7. I am happy and I'm boasting because I found something natural. I didn't have to go and beta blocker. I didn't have to worry that, oh, the doctor got to wind me off it. And guys, if you are already taking beta blocker, don't think to take the magnesium right now because it's not going to work. It goes against it okay so you're either gonna have to continue with the medication that the doctor prescribed then wind yourself off till they get you off it and then if you decide to get something more natural you can go ahead now I've got this on um, they're called encapsulation pure encapsulation yes that's the name of the company and the reason for this I didn't get it on Amazon because you know a lot of people are coming up with stuff and they're not giving the right ingredients and they're not putting in the right thing inside the medication and you don't want to get sick or get taking some synthetic stuff in your system so I try to go to a reputable place these are sets of like doctors and people who in the field of medical that they come come up and just make these medication not like some random people who just put something in in the capsule and in, in a tablet and say okay let me go ahead and market it on Amazon there's certain thing I don't get on Amazon so this is from pure encapsulation if you type it in and go on their website you'd have to do like a little survey to ask why you want the medication and stuff like that because they're all medical reputable people that has the practice that put these type of um, supplements out there so here you have it guys that's my video and magnesium if you like this um, video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, and let me know what you want to see next. As I said, I'll be doing the next video mainly on blood pressure and to show you a natural fruit. I, I can call it fruit. I don't know what you would call it. That you will take that would help you. Yes, it will help you to lower your blood pressure and let it stay that way. That's coming up next in my um, video. So please hit the bell notification bell notification so you know when that so you know when that video is available so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video Bye.